Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back. Today I am part of a huge block party where we celebrate Stamptember with Simon Says Stamp. Check my blog for all the details, you will find the link down below if you are watching on YouTube and on my blog you will also find an exclusive coupon code. Today I am going for a birthday card and I will be using a brand new product that has just been released. This is called Birthday Numbers and I love this stamp set because uh, not only it is for birthdays, which is my most used cards, but also it allows me to customize the card specifically for the person that I'm giving it to since I can stamp the age. I'm working on uh, Bristol paper and I will be using my Prisma colors to do all the coloring and I decided to stamp the number 8, the gift, the balloons, the little cupcake and the little party hat. So once everything is uh, stamped I will go ahead and start coloring and you can see how I colored the balloon and I pretty much did the same technique for everything else. So I'm using three different Prisma colors all the way from darker to lighter. I started with my darker color, applied it very lightly, now moving on to the middle color. I'm applying very lightly in the area and then I go back to the darker area and press harder so that I can blend those colors together. And I am going to finish it off with my lighter yellow. Now I will go back and add a little bit more shading. You don't want to press too hard, otherwise it is going to wax your paper too much and you will not be able to blend your colors. But I find that Prisma colors work beautifully on Bristol paper. The only tip that I can give you with Prisma colors is that it is better to apply very soft layers and build them up as you go, rather than press the pencil too hard from the beginning and then you will not be able to blend the colors together. So I will continue coloring everything. And I find that coloring with Prisma colors is uh, much more relaxing for me than uh, using my alcohol markers just because I don't have to work fast to blend the colors. So I can uh, apply my darker uh, shade, then uh, stop it right there, go prepare dinner or do whatever else, come back the next day and it will still work. Now as you can see I have colored everything, all my images with my Prisma colors and there are available uh, dies for this stamp set. So I am going to secure these dies on top of my paper with some purple tape and then I'm going to run them through my Big Shot. Now I have all my images cut out and I'm working on my background with this new rubber stamp set. This is uh, quite huge so it is going to cover up completely your uh, standard card. It is called Plank Background and I'm just going to stamp it with um, two shades of blue, a darker and a lighter color just to give it some variation and um, I like to have a kind of an ombre look on my background. I'm using my stamping platform so in case I don't stamp something uh, well I can uh, restamp it directly on top and instead of using my magnets I like to have some repositionable tape on my platform. Now it's time to put everything together. I'm going to place this on a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half and I used tape adhesive at the back and now I'm going to decide where all those cutouts are going to go, just trying to create a cluster there and once I'm happy with the placement I can then go ahead and stick some of them with uh, glue directly on my card which are going to be flat and some of those images I'm going to stick them with foam squares at the back so I get uh, some uh, dimension and once I have everything there I can go all this card down and just add the sentiment but you know me I love um, adding little details so I'm going to show you how you can take this a step further. I decided to color some of the planks at the background I'm using the same blue that I used for the number 8 so everything matches perfectly and of course you can go multicolored at the background. I decided to keep it quite subtle but at the same time I wanted to have something going on there. Now I'm going to add some uh, white highlights on the balloons and on pretty much every cutout that I have there. For that I'm using my Posca pen and um, I do so because I find that this writes better on top of Prisma colors than my usual uh, Signo white gel pen. Now it's time to stamp my sentiments. I decided to go with three sentiments from the same stamp set and I'm using the one that says let's party 
a second one that says let's celebrate and the yay. And I'm going to finish off my card by adding some sparkle with my crystals. So I'm using my Nouveau Deluxe to add dots of glue, spread it out on my card and now I'm going to stick my crystals on top. And my colorful birthday card is ready to go. Here are some close-up photos on the card. Don't forget that if you visit my blog you will find an exclusive coupon code for shopping at Simon's Stamp along with a lot of details on how you can join this blog party. Thank you all so much for watching, I hope you had fun and you got inspired and I'll see you all next time.